Hi there. Welcome to Please Prove Me Wrong with Lisa Sky. Uh, the me is me, Lisa Sky. Um, shark! I have a lot of strongly held beliefs about things that don't really matter. Uh, so I am inviting guests to come prove me wrong. And today I have Marcus. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Marcus. How are you? Good, friend. All right. So essentially it's my job to make you say, Marcus, you're completely right. Yes. Great. Prove me wrong. I hate negativity. I hate having negative opinions on things. Well, I've got a lot of strong opinions. Okay. Beyonce. No. I Next. Okay. Um, pugs. Aww. Right? I great. am probably Australia's biggest pug fan. I Love really pug. enjoy pugs. I would go as far as saying pugs are yes. the greatest animal on the planet. No, not at all. Okay. No. Uh, well, they're the cutest animal on the planet. Nope. Okay. You know how a baby animal is adorable? Yes. Kitten, puppy, foal, yes. calf, Well, not squirrel. foals, because they already think they're better than you, but... A horse? Yeah. Ho horses think they're better than you. Really? Yeah, they think they're better than all of us. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, I think that a baby pug is adorable. Yes. And normally as animals get older, they get less cute. No! What? Rottweilers! They go from being like these little fur seals and then they get va then they get lanky and then they get vast like a Chinese lion. And then an adult, I'm just like, done. Don't need. Done with a you done with an adult dog. No, except for a pug. Because pugs actually have to stay cute because they need you to look after them. Any other dog will go hunt a rabbit. A pug needs to stay just as cute a, so you feed it. A Bichon Frise is never gonna hunt a rabbit. Yeah. I guess I think that's why they're cute as adults as well. <laughs> because a, a pug is essentially a John Deere ride on lawnmower in terms of noise, turning circle, God knows what else. So it can't hunt anything. So they're adorable. Ah! And I don't know why. This is Gordon, by the way. Hi, Gordon. Hey. Do you? Okay. No, he doesn't. Um, and I just, I just really want people to get more on board pugs. It's, he's cute. He's adorable. Okay. He's the cutest animal. But he's not the best animal. He's not even the best dog. Right? Burmese Mountain Dog, Rottweiler, um, Yoshis, the Sharpays, uh, Leon Burgers, uh, Tibetan Mastiffs. They're furious, but they're cute. Look, so, so I mean... All of those, pug, all those dogs can exist without you having to clean crust out of their face crevices. And that's why they're so cute, because they depend on you. If you leave a pug for like 48 hours, it'll starve to death. Circle back. Um, face crust? Uh, uh, pugs have a lot of, um, they've got a brachycephalic head. Do you know what that means? It means Smush? it's mushed, basically. Okay. So they get crust inside their skin and you need to clean it out <sighs> with like a um, earbud or something. A or cotton a rag. bud? A cotton bud, yeah. Okay. And that's a part of their charm because if you leave them, they'll they're done. All right, I've got okay. Listen to okay, this. Okay. Pug, pug fact. Much like, do you use an iPhone? I do. You love an iPhone? I love my just phone, yes. like an iPhone. Pugs originate from China. Pretty impressive. Okay. Uh, but then again, so does the well, no Tibetan masses from Tibet as you chow chows chow chows chow chows are from China. Yeah. Well, Jin Shi Huan Chow Chow. What does that mean? I, I really wanna... like Chow Chows. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, Jin Shi Huan needs a tofa. Ni hao ma. Okay. Um, pugs were used in the military as tracking dogs. False. They were. No. I swear. What were they true. tracking? Like a Just... clue? <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I th apparently that's true. And I, I think it is real because if you ever try to eat like a TikTok biscuit in front of a pug, Specific? They will hunt you down. They are very, very into TikTok biscuits. Okay, bunnies not so much, but TikToks? The bang. yellow TikToks they like. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's from my experience anyway. Okay, go on. Um, pack of pugs called a grumble. Adorable, right? Oh, and that's the first smile. Okay, that's really adorable. So cute, right? <laughs> a grumble of a grumble of pugs, okay. Right, a little grumble, a little trotting around, eating their TikTok biscuits, being cute, crying, okay. having someone clean their face crust out. Oh, back to okay. face crust, all right. Um, a pug can travel up to eight kilometers in its lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe it. Yeah. All right, go I on. I think that's true. 
Um, pugs, and a lot of people didn't know this. A lot of people think that they're great swimmers, but they're not. They're they, not they feel swimmers. like they'd be buoyant. <laughs> <laughs> they just sink straight away and that's it. Really? It's very sad. See, it's not... I have like a peaceful image of like an owner of a pug. Um, like, you know those toy yachts? Like just putting him in the lake and then just gently pushing him out and then the pug going like... Yeah, on and like... Then just... <laughs> On a yacht, if you have like a little cheese platter or something, pugs thrive. Yes, They love right. that. If they've got a shady spot, yeah. got a little bit of water, maybe put a little bit of cordial in there because they don't always like to drink straight water. They would love it. Wait, what do you mean they can't? Dogs drink water. Yeah, a lot of them drink water and some of them... Pugs prefer if, <laughs> a bit of cooler. Yeah, you like a little bit of lime cordial in there. You ridiculous animal. Yeah, um, Gordon does sink though straight away, and I've had a bath with him. I mean, he is ceramic, so that's he probably his ceramic. problem. Yes. Uh, well, not problem, but that's his point of difference. Right. As a okay, all right. Look, you've not convinced me, but you've made me love them a lot more. Right. Cool. I think it's a grumble. That's all I've got on pugs. And I feel like if I had a pug right now, it would that would be it. That would be the threshold. Just. <laughs> They you've inspired me to buy a dog today, a pug. So Good. Thank you. I think you should. You, you're not a cat person? You dogs, cats, or no, both? No, I animal per I love all animals. Yeah. I love a, a little cat. Little I, blue see, I cat. would like cats, except I'm a little bit allergic. And also, then I hate that people let their cats into uh, outside. I hate that. Cats Wait. should never be outside. You hate that people don't trap their cats inside? Yes. Cats I didn't want a cat. I don't want a cat in my backyard. Not in my bloody backyard. <laughs> They, they live out. They lived outside before we put them inside. Not my outside. It's my. It's my kingdom. No. My house is my kingdom. It doesn't have a front wall, and that's fine. We're getting one. <laughs> but it's my kingdom. What if I had a Rottweiler? And God willing, one day I will. What if I had a Rottweiler, and then he's just like being big, and then suddenly a cat's like surprise, mother lover. <laughs> no. Cats I didn't want so a cat. Sneaky. And if you own a backyard, you have to let neighbourhood cats come in. That's the rule. They just go through. We will discuss this at a later date because I can't talk to you when you're like this. This has been a borderline successful Lisa. episode of Please Prove Me Wrong. Pugs are adorable. Cats are out there.